have you worked with sum and sum x functions uh yes uh, sum and sum x functions are like uh, i can call it as a x function uh, where uh, what exactly is the difference is uh, let's say you want to uh, total the total sales like let's say for every column you have a sales and you want to create a measure total sales you just need to write a sum of sales so this is a normal function normal sum function for this normal sum function i can call it as a, as a column level function for this column level function the existing column of sales should be present only then you can use sum of sales when you go with the sum x right the sum x is uh, let's say sometimes your client may ask you need not add any columns to my um, data you, you have to calculate it but you cannot add in any additional column in that case if there is a total sales is not there and you want to apply an expression like an order quantity into list price or order quantity into unit price so you want to multiply something in that case what you can do is you can use an expression by using the expression uh, you can get the sum of sales uh, the same sum of sales so this is a advantages function because without even having the existing column still you can achieve it and the function you can use is sum x sum x basically has two parameters one is a table which you want to apply and the next is expression so this is a example and in, in fact i can tell it as uh, sum x is a uh, row level context uh, Uh, filtering will happen like it will multiply for every row okay so what is the difference between all uh, function and all except can you tell uh, me any scenario where you have used this right uh, both all and all except and there is one more all selected so all are a combination of filter functions so mm -hmm. let's say uh, when when you write a measure right uh, let's say total sales and you drag it to any visual this measure value will change according to the filters that is applied on the table so let's say you drag country or you drag segment and you take out the sales so for every segment for every country the measure value will get divided so filtration will happen so this is with respect to a normal scenario but if you use as all function so what this all function will do is it will actually fix the value it will not change i mean to say that uh, whenever you are applying this function what exactly happens is none of the filters will be applied for this function that's the uh, power of this all function because at the end of the day you need to calculate percentage something like that so when you drag this all function usually it freezes the value none of the filters will be applied all the filters which have applied before that will be suppressed oh. uh, sorry this is for all so coming to all except uh, the same functionality but only the column which you select right excluding that all for all the other columns this filter will be applicable okay uh, so yeah coming to power query editor right so you have done all your transformations in power query editor so what is m language um m language uh, is also called as a mashup language uh, this mashup language is basically i can uh, call it as whenever you are doing any transformation right Uh, it's just like a drag and drop it's just like a replacing removing columns uh, adding transformations everything but internally uh, there should be some recording that should happen like what was the steps you have applied uh, how many times you have uh, transformed it so everything inbuilt uh, that will be converted into a code that code is called uh, m language or a m code which is called mashup code so you do any transformations internally there is some function that will be written that will be placed in terms of m code Okay, so what are the transformations you have performed in your project? Uh, we were able to create a schemas like a star schema, snowflake schema, and we were able to use text transformation, uh, mm -hmm. like number transformation, column transformations, additional columns, and we, I was appending the queries, I was merging the queries. So this type of uh, things I have done in Power Query Editor. Okay. Uh, so coming to the data modeling uh, uh, which schema you have implemented in your project uh, i have implemented star schema uh, i have also got a chance to implement snowflake schema in one of the other project okay so what is the difference between star and snowflake schema uh, with respect to uh, star schema and snowflake schema before explaining the difference uh, i would like to tell there are two tables that will be involved Uh, one is a fact table one is a dimension table fact table will have the actual client information for example sales profit cost maybe this type of information 
and the dimension table can be called as a lookup table like a lookup table like a table like a customer will have a unique id customer id so for every customer you will have one one record so this is like a dimension table uh, when every dimension table is connected to a fact table uh, you can call it as a star schema and if you come for a dim uh, if you come for a snowflake schema uh, some of the dimension tables can be having an another dimension table which is interconnected or i can put it in this way a fact table can be connected to a dimension table indirectly so okay. this two things i can put this is like a snowflake scheme